In this finale tutorial, we will see how to change the default 8.5 and, and 11 sheet you see on the left into the marching folio size two sheets on one page format that you see on the right. And this will work for both Mac and Windows versions. I'll show you both. This method will work with uh, finale 2009 and later. It might work with versions before 09, I'm not sure. So the first thing you want to do is locate your file and just so you can see what it looks like before we start here here's the flute part all on one on one page we'll start with the document up at the top where it says document and go to page format then go to parts under page size choose octavo and orientation landscape hit OK nothing will change because your changes won't go into effect until you do the page layout tool. So click the page layout tool here, then go up to page layout at the top. That allows me to select that. Then go to redefine pages. At the very bottom it says selected pages. We'll do redefine. We'll do all parts. Hit OK. Now what we've done is we've, we've moved it into two sheets, which is OK. Because once we've done this, now we can stack these two sheets on top of each other in the print menu. So under File, go to Print. We'll choose the flute just to show you how this works. We'll hit OK. Now we're in the Print window. Under Finale 2011, choose Layout. Pages for, per sheet, choose 2. And then the layout direction is this strange looking N. And that's what we're going to use. I'm not going to print. I want you to see what it looks like. So I'm going to save it as a PDF so you can see it. We'll call it New Marching Flute Part. And under the desktop. All right, so we can see what that looks like. I'll find it here. And here's the New Marching Flute Part. And as you can see, we have a very nice layout and it will fit into any folio. Now for Windows it's a little bit different on the last part where it comes when it comes to printing. On the Windows version you do the exact same thing the only difference is when you go to print you choose your part and instead of hitting OK here you'll go to setup and you're gonna to wanna to choose a PDF creator such as Primo PDF or Qt PDF either of those will work and then choose properties and there's two tabs at the top make sure your layout tab is selected under orientation choose landscape now that's different than the previous version but the nice thing is you can see exactly what it's going to look like when you're done so you're taking this flute page one and page two and you're stacking them on top of each other the one is on top the two is on the bottom if you do portrait it'll put them next to each other instead of on top of each other. So make sure you do landscape pages per sheet 2. It's up to you if you want to draw the borders. Since I didn't draw the borders on the other one so that you can see what it looks like, we're going to keep that checked. You can uncheck it if you want. Hit OK. Hit OK. It'll give you a warning. Ignore it. In this case, Primo PDF will pop up. We're going to create the PDF. Again, we'll call it New Flute. I'm just going to save it to the desktop. Once we've done that, there you go. And again, you can see that it has put the two pages right on top of each other in folio format.